everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. <laughs> so, Melita Island. Let's take a look, see around here. Hey, a new face. Welcome to Melita Island. Lots of island guys are off fishing, but, you, but you'll still find many of us at work here. Have you seen the Northern Sea lately? That awful fog and that Gulf ship? Scary. It's better not to think of the Northwestern Sea, or you'll get the shivers. Um, by the way, uh, Wayfarer's words number one. Mark these sorts of tablets, like the Wayfarer words, on your map. You won't regret it, let's just put it that way. Um, yes, that's another thing that I know about ahead of time, because I played the game before. <laughs> I tried sailing through the foggy passage of the North Sea. Tried and failed. Me too. I found myself sailing back to the same point, so I abandoned my voyage. Interesting, interesting. But, is there a way through it? Perhaps. Perhaps. Anyway, let's go inside here. <laughs> hmm. Let's just destroy this person's house, because why not? That's just what Link likes to do. Heck yeah! Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> hmm? Hey, how's it going? Have you entered the foggy passage in the north? Yes, I have. No matter what you do, it seems like there's no way through the fog, right? Every time you brave that accursed fog, you'll be sent back to your original spot. But Romano also lives on the village edge, and a father who got through it. Really? No one dares try to figure it out, not since the ghost ship was seen in the fog. Uh, what if I say no this time? Uh, okay. Every time... What? Mm, isn't that kind of a repeat? It's... Yeah, um... What? Why? <laughs> Hello there, bouncing mailbox? Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. It's for Astrid, the fortune teller. Hmm. 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 Good tidings to you, Link. Thank you for your recent help. Try as I might to express my gratitude in words, I cannot do it justice. Is there anything that I can do in return? Please stop by the Isle of Ember. I know that some of my modest means might have little to offer, but I believe that I can at least show you the way should you become lost. Sincerely, Astrid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we kind of went over that, that if you want get lost, don't know where to go, go to her. <laughs> and that's the end of it. Got all that, sir? Then I'm out of here. Okay, have a good day, postman. Wait, I didn't have to sign? Oh, okay. <laughs> Woo! Alright, nope. Gossip stone. More. Yeah, sure, what the heck. There's a tiny isle in the middle of the three boulders south of this isle. It says the beautiful spring. There's a beautiful spring there. This is one of several isles that are not charted on any map. Ooh, secret isles. Keep a vigilant eye out while sailing. You'll never know what you'll find. <clears throat> now, make note of what I just said. <laughs> okay, okay, relax. Relax. Uh, there's something right there. <laughs> Oop, alrighty, moving on. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. See this? Wait for his words number two. Guess what, guess what, guess what? Yeah. By the way, that was a terrible, terrible dot that I made over here. <laughs> I made my way through the fog to the North Sea where I first spied the island. What a place ravaged by winds. How could I name it? Anything but the Isle of Gusts. How could you indeed? Well, that's what it's called, really. <laughs> oh, just look at that, this stone tablet. The guy who lives nearby Romanus had a father who scattered these here. The left is a testament to his trip to the Isle of Gust, but they're a big nuisance. <laughs> so everyone hates the tablets, but they're pretty important, actually. Hey, let's rob this guy's house. <laughs> Goron Amber! It's another one of those sorts of treasures, like the necklace and scale and stuff like that. Yep, yep, yep. And yep, that's really what <laughs> there is there. And let's see here, it is a shop! Let's see what's at the shop. Ooh. I could buy myself another power gem if only I had the cash for it. If only I had the cash for it. There's an easier way to get cash later on in the game. Ooh, I could buy some bombs. If only I had the bomb bag for it. If only I had the bomb bag. Oh, I could buy arrows! If only I had the quiver for it. If only... Well, okay, it's a bow, but... <laughs> So yeah, I can't really buy anything other than the potions. <laughs> Purple one will revive you if you die, and the red one will uh, will give you six hearts back. Alright, I can sneak through here. I think that's all I can show at this moment in time. I want to go to this cave up here. Oh look! Young man, you must go to that cave. Dangerous monsters have been seen there lately. You'll be a good boy. Don't go anywhere near it. Rrr. 
Brrr, I say. What do you want to sail to the island in the North the Sea? My husband called that place the Isle of Gusts. He used to talk about how he had visited that island. Yeah, I, I, I kind of got that with the tablets. <laughs> My husband was once content to be a fisherman until he left this place. He sought uncharted lands. At least that's what he said when he finally left. He refused to work instead of, re instead of returning to his boat by braving the northern fog repeatedly. The last time we saw him was over a year ago. My son Romanos, who's at home right now, might know a little more. But that boy hasn't worked in a long time either. He's peeved at his dad, I, th I think. You might get upset if you mentioned the Isle of Gust. Okay, well, maybe I won't mention it. To nah, I'm gonna go mention it. Hmm. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I'm gonna destroy your pot. I'm gonna throw it at you, even. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Somehow I tapped you, though. Need something, kid? What, you wanna travel to the Isle of Gust? Please don't tell me you're going your own way, too. Uh, uh, own way? Ah, uh, if you don't know, forget I asked. You're better off staying put and forgetting about the Isle of Gust. Okay, okay. I'm gonna stay my own way. My own way, yes, yes! Oh really, do it your own way? Go your own way? What a bunch of garbage! All this endless babbling about living with lust for adventure. Can put uh, put food on the table? Can I make your family happy? Going your own way is no way to survive in this life. My way is a lot better. Staying home, eating cheese, that's the life. Yeah, Isle of Gust, don't say another word about it. Figure it out yourself and get out of here. Alright, fine, I'll just, you know, I'm gonna walk out through- Oh, no, wait, wait, come, kid, kid, come back. Okay, fine, fine. Sorry to unload all that on you, kid. It's just that my dad used to say a lot about going his own way to Explorer, and I got fed up with him. My dad used to talk about getting through the fog and seeing the Isle of Gust. He said something about a specific route for getting through the foggy passage, but only he knew which way to go. Hmm, is a cave behind our house where my dad used to escape all the time. He called it his hideaway. You might find more details in there, but it's dangerous in there, kids. But it's dangerous in there. So take care of yourself, kid. And take the sword. Uh, wait, never mind. <laughs> I already got a sword. What am I talking about? Alright, that... Uh, young man. He mustn't go in that cave. Dangerous, uh, you, you told me that earlier. You told me that, yes, yes. Oh wait, if my son has said it's alright, then go on in. There's no stopping you, is there? Oh please, don't do anything too dangerous. Well, you were able to stop me before, so... There definitely is a way to stop me. <laughs> Alrighty. Good chew. How are you? Well, I guess I can't really ask you once you're dead, huh? And uh oh. Oh man, it's blocked. It's blocked. Oop. And I can hop these gaps. Look out for falling in the gaps by getting knocked into there via keys or whatnot. Now, beware of something coming. Beware. It's either a Geozerd or a Zora Warrior. I'm not really sure the name. I got both. I'm guessing Geozerd is the correct name, though. But if you were to, you know, walk around here, you're gonna see there it is. <laughs> So it's it's sort of kind of like a mini boss of sorts. It shoots fire, and it, yeah, it, it thrusts at you with its sword. And I want to show its fire attack, though it's not all that dangerous or anything like that. I just want to show it. Uh, well, the anyway, the objective is to stun it with your boomerang and then attack it repeatedly from behind. Uh, wait, can I just like tempt you to maybe uh, shoot a fireball of sorts? Maybe that would be there. We go. <laughs> Yeah, if you, if, you, if you know it's coming, it's not that difficult. Anyway, I'm just gonna loop this around here and see if I can stun it. And let's see if I can get it around. There we go. And now, when you're behind it, make sure to attack repeatedly, otherwise it's gonna recover and then you're gonna be sad. <laughs> it's gonna have to repeat the boomerang thing again. Woohoo! Oh yeah. Now, um, there are these spots you've probably seen that are different on the floor here along the way throughout our adventure thus far. Well, we're gonna finally find out what we could actually do with those things and, well, yeah, there's actually something you can do with those things. And they don't involve these Octoroks, I assure you. <laughs> uh, Octoroks are just there to be there. Be there to be in your way, as is the nature of the Octorok. Uh, they'll, the, these don't seem all that aggressive, so maybe I should have just left them be. So, oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to grab said bomb. Hey, hey, grow back, please. Grow back. Thank you. <laughs> I just want to grab this and make myself a little... Oh! I guess this one will work, too. <laughs> I want to make myself a little opening here. 
I'm gonna also make my way back through there just for kicks as well. Uh, oop, oop. Because this is, yeah, this is back restart. Is this close enough? I don't think this is close enough. Okay, it is. But yeah, this is back where I started, where I jumped across those uh, platforms there, yeah. Anyway, I want to go into the cave that I just blasted open. See what is up. My journal. I'm writing this while in a private space. I call my hideaway. Ah, we found it! Whenever I'm here, I find myself utterly at peace. And will stay that way, only as long as I know that no one will interrupt me. Now, I do have one more hideaway, and no one will ever find the entrance. It's on the, well, I guess we didn't find all the hideaways then. <laughs> it's under this spot where the lines between my stone tablets intersect. That's why I've been marking them on my map. It's brilliant, if I do say so myself. So we've got the hints. Now, let's go and find more tablets, actually. <laughs> oh, I got the shuffle! Yeah! It's supposed to be the place that Romano's dad called his highway, but I haven't seen any clues how to get through the foggy passage. Well, for one thing, I am whoops, I'm going to equip the shovel and then dig this up. Look at that! And this is, this is basically one of the best ways to get rupees in the game, really, is to dig up those sorts of spots on the ground. Because there's a, a lot of those sorts of spots, and they contain a lot of good treasures. So I would highly recommend digging up those spots whenever you see them, especially if you're going for 100%, because there are a bunch of expensive stuff in the game. And thus, you probably would like to get stuff like that along the way. And uh, also... Um, the, the, if you go out and then back in, this is kind of weird, uh, those spots on the ground will actually reform, but you won't actually get anything unusual from them, like that, like when you first dig them up. I don't know why that is, like why they would reform to begin with, but what you might want to do is, uh, just mark stuff on your map as you go, maybe, might be, but I probably won't have to because I'm just going to dig them up as I go. And also, you can dig stuff at random up out of the ground, as I'm showing you right here. But, well, you won't really know what you're going to dig up, as it's all completely random, <laughs> as I said. So, it doesn't really matter uh, if I dig those spots randomly or not, because it's not really the main treasures that you can get with the, the shovel. But, if you would like to dig some stuff up along the way, you can, just to see what you can get. You can get hearts and rupees and all sorts of stuff like that. Anyway, now I'm going to go up these stairs and continue our puzzle-solving trek. Number three, you know what that means! Yeah. Oop. <laughs> Alright, let's read it. But the Alagust is one of the many islands beyond that foggy passage. I will see them all! It's my life stream. It's the only way to live. Is it? Is it? My, uh, your son kind of has something else to say. <laughs> Another treasure! Woo! Right, let's go around here and see the rest of the area. Not really much to see, though, but... Uh... <laughs> oh, look at that! There's a tablet! Wait for his words number four. Yep, yep, in scribble. Now, remember they said it's where the tablets intersect. What a discovery! On the Isle of Gust, the temple reached into the sky itself. But a temple to what? For whom? I curiously. I mean, curiosity must be satisfied. So, uh, yeah, once you clear out this sort of stuff here, well, you know, find the tablets and whatnot, you're pretty much gonna, like, roll into this tree here. <laughs> you can, you're pretty much done, and, uh, yeah, I don't really think there's anything else to get here, and I really don't feel like messing with the rolling physics here, because it's hard to roll in this game, so <laughs> let's just leave those trees be, unless I need to, and I don't believe that I really need to. So, okay, where those stone tablets tablets intersect is something like if you were to draw a line on your map like in between you just go here oh that was a terrible line and then go right through that was also a terrible line but it's like somewhere around like maybe around here that you want to dig with your shovel to find the spot and conveniently the spot is right over here in front of this tree so you always have it memorized in that spot if you just dig near that tree and thus what I'd like to do here now is erase all the marks that I made thus far and just leave, like, say, maybe a circle here to say, hey, yeah, yeah, dig there, that's for the secret hideaway. So drop down the hole, and look at that, look at that, first the treasure, 
Oh yeah, it's a treasure map, in fact. We still can't do anything about those X's, but that is okay. Let's first demolish his second hideaway. And then read his journal. To my son Romanos. Oh, I should get that rupee. If you're reading these, my words, you have found my true hideaway, which means you have also developed a desire to find your own way in life. So he left those tablets for his son, basically. Knowing that, I'm truly sorry for putting you and your mother through so much. I'm well aware that the world's worst father, that I'm the world's worth, worst father, leaving you both behind. Sorry for misreading. There is so much about the ways of the world I don't understand, such as why the ghost ship appears and steals people. Where do its victims go? I've decided to dedicate my life to finding out the answers. Well, he might be in trouble. <laughs> if I fail to return, please take care of your mother, and please forgive me. Inclusively, one more thing. Embrace your wayfaring ways, my son. <laughs> and now I can grab that rupee. Alright. Now over here, to my son. Here's the only way to sail through the foggy passage. See, chart this up, baby. Yep. Get ready to doodle. Now, um, you don't really have to follow this path exactly. You just have to loop through and around the rocks as per the route. So what I'm gonna do here is try and do it in an efficient manner. Like say, go through it tightly here, go through it tightly there, and then go around here, and do a tight loop here, and up and around, and under, and then we go through thusly. That is good enough. <laughs> Just to remind myself to take that as tight as possible. So yeah, we still know that there's something on that island there that's marked with the X, so we don't have to mark that. And uh, that's really all that's over here, I suppose. So let's go on out. We gotta escape the passageway of doom, though. Oh, what is this? It's a strange sun emblem on that door link. I wonder if we can open it. Try touching the door link. I would doubt it, because it's got a key. Well, a lock. Hmm, that didn't work. It's not opening. But there's something about that cr this crest that tickles my memory. Hey, why not draw this emblem on your map so you remember it later on? Okay, why not? This is actually going to be very difficult to draw on the map because I, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it requires sharp points and my brush size doesn't really allow for sharp points and it's a very jagged object so what I'm gonna do here is do something like this and sort of draw the points together kinda maybe oh this is terrible terrible um, uh, well you know what this is actually decent enough I guess <laughs> Um, it's it's basically a sun more than anything, and I'll just color this in, I suppose, maybe, oh boy, this is a disaster. This is also incredibly uncomfortable to draw, because <laughs> it's such a weird thing to draw on such a map, and I'll just thicken this a little bit, and, and, yeah, I, 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 I I'm gonna use the eraser. <laughs> That's good enough, actually, you know what? We will remember it by our sheer journey to try and draw that crest decently. It's, I mean, just look at this thing and try and, try and draw that on that. I mean, it's, it's a thin inner circle line, which doesn't really help with the with the thickness of the brush, and then there's the, the, the tips that are also thin, they're... Yeah. <laughs> Let's just move on. Let's just move on. So this leads back over to, you guessed it, yep, that cave that we were already in and cleared out before via the shovel. So, ooh, audio glitched. <laughs> so, I think that is all here. I don't recall any spots that I need to dig up around here with my shovel. So this island is complete for for now. For some reason, I thought I could go through here. That was stupid. I mean, there's, there's, there's not enough room to go through there. What was I even thinking? <laughs> uh, I'm just going to take a little peek see through here, but I'm pretty sure I'm done. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on. I should actually do one more thing here because 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 there is the son here who might be, have gotten inspired by me wandering through the area <laughs> how's it going huh you found my dad's hideaway and defeated the monsters in there hmm i see you've inspired me kid what <laughs> drove my dad to go his own way like you i might may just join him to find and find out thanks kid uh what if i talk to you one more time 
Uh, okay, same thing, same thing, okay. So yeah, I'm done here with the island, that took a pretty decent amount of time, so I think I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I go through, well, maybe the foggy passage, maybe, or maybe I'll go check out the island that's unmarked on the map. Who knows? Who knows? That's what you're gonna have to find out when you see the next parts. Toodaloo!